Jurgen Klopp is Liverpool's greatest manager ever. Yes, it sounds like I'm a psychopath saying this, but he really is. He's the greatest manager ever when it comes to the 2010s. Yes, like the 2000s and up. The managers of the past, the Bill Shankly's and that, yeah, listen, those guys are different gravy. But when it comes to the 2010s, like this century, the 2000s, yeah, yeah, he, he's beaten everybody on every single metric. Hands down. Absolutely hands down. He's the man that broke the 30 year curse for Liverpool, first of all. To think that Liverpool hadn't won the Premier League in 30 years is absolutely insane. With the quality players they've had come through Xavi Alonso, your Steven Gerrard, your Jamie Carragher's, your um, Steve McManaman's, like generally, your Gary McAllister's. Bro, how? I really don't understand. Your Yerge your Dudex, Jurgen Klopp. He has this singular quality that sets him apart from so many managers. Other managers can do this too, but for him, it's more effortless to do this. Completely effortless, and it's about the relationship he builds with the players. Realistically, yeah, every manager has a plan that they want to implement. Everybody has ideas, but having ideas is not the, is not the hard part. The hard part is implementing those ideas. Jurgen Klopp has great ideas. Obviously, his main style of play is that gangnang pressing, where it's like you're you're pressing, but you're also defensively solid, and you can also break on them. He's got this down to a T. You know what I'm saying? Down to a T. And it's the fact that these players, yeah, as much as they're millionaires and everything, they're still people. So he's actually going to the point where he generally cares about people. So it's effortless for him to get points across because he knows them. He understands them in and out. He knows how to reach them. He knows that, oh, this guy, if I speak to him this way, I'll get this out of him. This guy, if I speak to him that way, I'll get this out of him. If, if you compare to managers like someone like Ten Hag, of course Ten Hag has got good ideas, you know. Being a professional football manager is no easy feat. Ten Hag's issue is his man management, how he, he relates to players. His player relations are not great because you can see that the players are not really with him like that. They're just doing their job. But when you look at Klopp recently, with kids, bro, with kids, he is doing amazing. He's only lost one game in 13, in 13, missing some of his biggest players and using kids. The last time he lost was to Arsenal at the Emirates 3-1. He's won every single game since then. Not even a draw. No, no, no. Win, 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 win. How many managers in a cup final would think to bring kids on? Most of them would just bring them on for just just for bring them on sake. But he's bringing them on because he knows what they can do. He believes in them. He trusts them, and they've got his system down. Like, how can everybody in the club have this ability to follow the same system from all the from the bottom all the way to the top? Because most managers, realistically, they just focus on the first team. They don't really give a damn about the academy unless like one or two players are doing well. But Klopp has a relationship with every single one of these players. First team, 20s, and the 23s, 18s, every single one of them, he's close to them. And that is his superpower, bro. Because even as a neutral, I can't see anybody that hates Jurgen Klopp. Jurgen Klopp is one of the most lovable managers in football right now. Like, there's nobody that can actually come here and tell me they hate, hate Jorgen Klopp. You might only hate Jorgen Klopp because he's slapping up your team, generally. Generally, that's the only way you could hate Jorgen Klopp. It's his, it's his relationship building with players. That's what helps him get his ideas across. And it makes it so easy for people to follow him. Because he's such a great man motivator that he can literally make people want to run through walls for him, for his cause. Yeah, man, Liverpool are definitely going to struggle when he leaves. Because to get a manager of that kind of level is going to be almost next to impossible because the amount of play managers that can do that, that are out of a job, that want to go to Liverpool, is very, very scarce. Very, very scarce. So at least the next two, three years, Liverpool are going to be in a rebuilding phase trying to find the right manager. Best choice right now for Liverpool would definitely be Xavi Alonso. 100%. But with the project he's got going on at Leverkusen, I can't see him leaving anytime soon, bro. Because if you look at his his management style, he took his time. He could have went to manage the first team so much earlier on, but he went to manage academy players for a long time and he built himself up 
over time, over time. So I can see him staying at Leverkusen at least minimum two more seasons, man. Jürgen Klopp, almost impossible to replace. I have been born one and here I talk about nothing but football. The subscribe button is here or maybe there. I'd love for you guys to hit that button right now and start this football community with me. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Ball one, I'm out.